Well, yep, Disco Elysium time. Yeah, here we go again. Disco Elysium time. Kept it rolling. Take three. <laughs> it's Ryan, and we've got Brief D today. Yeah. Uh, Brief D is known as such because um, recording mishaps, D goes yeah. into the shadow realm if they speak too long at one time. Yeah. So, uh, prior warning, headphone warning, just in case static happens. But, uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, as we explained in take one, um, we've earned some more information about where our gun could possibly be. Yeah, because we pawned it. It may be or may not be with Kuno West. We don't know, but if we have a look it, at the journal. It says it's a female. Yeah, but there is more than just Kuno Ese as females around the place. True. Um, so, we've got to track down our gun. Just keep looking, maybe someone else knows something. We just speak to whoever we meet as we go along. It's just mm -hmm. going to be happening. Uh, we still got the jam um, thingy, the jam mystery. We can now go back and speak to crazy possessed woman. Yep. And uh, we can close the water lock on Wednesday. Um, apparently, we've got a couple of white checks that we can try again, though. Okay. So, should we try and get some in, uh, some information on that broken window that we had right back in uh, yeah, sure. the beginning of forever? Many, many moons ago. Yeah, oh, close for when to use the main entrance. Um, so, there seems to have been a visual update with Disco Elysium. It means we're in a work in progress on whether stuff may be Terry or not. Mm. Yeah, because it's the the update they on real yeah, they, they? they No, they updated Unity, which oh. looks nicer. But oh god, it's evening, so it's karaoke time. Um, we don't have a videotape, uh, but he wants the karaoke to death. Electrochemistry. This guy. What's this one's guy? Oh yeah. Oh, it's just tar. We can still go up the stairs though. That's. Now that we've actually got a bit more perception, we might be able to learn some more about that as well. Maybe. Because um, there was a lot of... It turns out a lot of the stuff that we were missing was due to our lack of perception. Mm. So, we can go in the door. We still have the key. It's a stupid. Well, and, uh, we still haven't given the key back for the um, bins. No? Why would we? Bin cop. Yeah, hobo cop. Yeah. So, um. Well, we're tidying up a bit. Oh, yeah. Mainly because it makes us money. It's not going to make us. A lot. make us 87 cents in three hours. But, well, 87 real in three hours. However. Mm. Ah, look. Tape. Yeah. An empty cassette case. We can find out a bit of the door. Kim tries to not look at your broken down bathroom door. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. This is where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, straight in, yeah. And by that you mean crimes against humanity? Well, I divided Boawaji morality in it. Defied it hard. I have no idea what that means. He looks towards the exit longingly. So, um, let's see if we can get that visual calculus check again. 83%. Can't fail now, can we? Well, there's a 17% chance. Don't say that. Success. Woo! The shards face outwards. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Yeah, because it's also kicking our shear out the window. <laughs> Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Well, what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor pull from pulling a tool back in after impact. That's less than the size of the imprint. Uh, it is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. This was our shit. <laughs> yeah, the shoe you found out on the hall, uh, on the balcony fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Uh, I'll make sure I had a good reason for it. Maybe I was just trying to hit someone? 
And maybe, just maybe, you succeeded. We'll never know. <laughs> or maybe you were trying to smash your own reflection in the window pane. Maybe. What's this? The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after one, uh, 9 o'clock. Well, not in this bed. <laughs> what else can we re-roll? Um, the warded door. Oh, yeah. That's not happening. And the backyard wall is also not happening. Mm. The hanged man, no. Measure head, no. None of these are happening. Mm -hmm. Certainly not yet. I'm definitely not going to be able to uh, get rid of the expression. That permanent expression. Yeah. Permanent awful grin on the face. Well, I found right. a cassette tape, so you probably want to sing. It's downstairs. It's an empty cassette tape, though. Because uh... there's, like, as, as Kim said, there's basically just viscera all over the place. <laughs> right, so, um, sh can we give this guy his key back? Can I help you? Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Here's your trash container key. Thanks, I hope you found what you were looking for. Yeah, I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put him there. Could some of your stuff be put him there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Oh, who, has, who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection services? CS Municipal? I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent there at last and when. This will have to be one of those little threads that solves itself down the road. Mm -hmm. He turns to the man. Thank you anyway. Okay. Fair enough. God, I saw another thing at the world. What? Oh, yeah, let's go down that track. Another thing. Great. I love those. Oh, well, that's a dead end. Uh... Right, so, now have a new journal. Oh no. That's Kino. Oh. <laughs> Kuno, you little rat bastard. It's time to talk. It's Maybe time the Kuno? to really talk. No, oh, fucking, fucking Kuno. Yeah, the fucking Kuno. You never want to fuck with the Kuno. Well, we need to fuck the Kuno. I don't want to fuck the here. Kuno. I don't really don't want to fuck the Kuno. Right, Kuno, you little dick. <laughs> fuck this right. Kuno, okay? I didn't ask for your opinion, dickhead. <laughs> right, about the crime scene, you kids often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. Fuck you want with it. The dead man's clothes are in the trash. Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. I'm not going. Oh, God, Ryan, stop it. Uh, I need to know. It could be a lead in the investigation. Someone may have tampered with the murder scene. Listen, listen. He stops you. Kuno doesn't care about this small-time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there. Dumpster diving. Sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. He points to his pants. Your size, good price, 500 rail. No, Kuno. Wait, I asked you what happened to his clothes. Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around. Except for that up there. He points to the cadaver. Now you want your performance gear or not, Grandpa? The lieutenant remained silent, but his expression couldn't say, I told you so, any louder. <laughs> no, Kuno, you don't know no. anything about the tampering I'm investigating, and I already have pants. Whatever, Kuno was trying to help you, but you're too fat for Falm anyway, pig. Ah, uh, Falm, effectively the Nike of the world of yeah. Disco Elysium. Uh, the ladder. Ever climb it? Look at that fucking shit, he screeches. Trying to get a Kuno killed. So you would say the ladder is unclimbable. 
the fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his book. Another voice is saying something. Kuno asks. It's a trap. Don't climb it, Kuno. What's in the greenhouse? Don't know. He shrugs. Kiptas gardener used to work there. Hold on. The gardener used to work there. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. He fills his lungs with rancid air. His eyes get a little watery. Shit's nothing to Kuno. Ah, it's her, the one that gave us the um, marigolds. Mm -hmm. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. He looks you in the eye and nods as if agreeing with himself. Yeah, her. <sighs> What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? A lot, actually. Yeah, let's ask her about it. Uh, there was also a mug in the trash. The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Uh, yes, does this racist mug have anything to do with it? Uh, yes, does this adequate description of a South Samarian man have anything to do with it? Yes, does this quaint, better not taken out of its historical context mug have anything to do with it? You choose. Uh, does this racist mug have anything to do with it? Yeah, Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain, he whispers excitedly. You saying the pigs are after the mug fucker, because he's the clothes fucker. Can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. Fucking Kuno, eh? That's exactly what I'm saying, Kuno. Someone has tampered with the crime scene, cleaned some of it up. Shit, that's tense. He thinks for a moment. Someone's going down to the beat down basement, huh? What guy gonna get tied to the radiator? He nods in approval. Okay. The kid may have something here. He's already come up with an interrogation technique, too. <laughs> Kuno doesn't know he would put that shit in there, and if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno. They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching. She lets out a hiss, meaner than before. Get away from my Kuno. <sighs> yeah. Kuno jumps back. Get your baking shit away. Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo. Get your shit done and out of Kuno's face. Mm. He's really interested, actually, when he's that, you know. There he is. It's just Kuno West that's basically manipulating him. Yeah. Right. So. Now. We've talked to Kuno. Uh, n no. Mm. No. It's scripted out. It's done. It's yeah. done. It's fucking done. Don't need to speak to the fucking twat again. So. Don't need to so speak tomorrow, to the then. twat again. So far. Yeah. So to the gardener. Ask why she was gardening in March. Hello, Looks excuse speaking. me, Gardener. It's Why were you got? Thanks, Gardener. It okay. was clear just an hour ago. Right, so tell me, what exactly have you been doing in your greenhouse in March? Oh, oh whoops. There we go. Well, uh, she points to a wheelbarrow, surprised at the question. This might be the last snow we get, at least I hope so. Um, snow has nutrients in it, helps everything green up in the spring, at least that's why my grandma over, uh, always told me. She smiles shyly. Uh, what nutrients? Nitrogen and sulfur, mostly. She points to the sky. And whatever factories and aerostatics exhale too, I guess. <laughs> Squinting your eyes Squinting and looking <laughs> Am I going to hurt myself doing this? Well, do we have anything to read up your federal calculus, though? Um, or... no. Or decrease it, or whatever. Not really, but it's at four anyway. So we should have to be alright. Uh, even odds, in it. Uh-huh. Fuck. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. All you can see is the fact that her skin is a different colour from yours. That's literally all you're going to have to run with that. You're black? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, what does that mean? She doesn't flinch. Mm, nothing. So, so what kind of music do you listen to nowadays? Oh yeah, I'm trying to break the awkward silence. I don't know. She looks around. Whatever's on the radio, I guess. 
What does it have to do with snow or gardening in March? She seems more perplexed than cornered. Do you listen to disco? <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> we should probably proceed with our business in Martinez. The lieutenant interrupts her, turning to you. Unless you didn't have any more official questions. I have to run. Yep. Well, that, um... Yep. He said even odds, but... Eh. Yeah, that's considered done. Cancelled. Forfeited. Right. Let's close some more doors, shall we? Let's. Uh, where'd yeah, that the woman go? Oh, uh, up. Down. She's all around. And then. Down right. here. Here, here she Down is. The thing. There we go. Right. Hello, oh pale driver. You got me at an opportune moment. This awful weather gives me away. You can entertain me with your questions. Okay, fair enough. Straight on. Alright, are you THE lady driver? Did you just call me a lady, Serif? She clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. I was told of a woman driver. Yeah, God forbid too. You're the only woman here. I'm not that either, Serif. Her smile dissipates. I've gone too far from it all to remember what was between my legs. It doesn't work like that on the long haul. So you're, you're not, the... not? Yeah, sorry, go on. So you're not the driver that I was terrified of? I'm only terrifying to small children and those who used to know me. Why are you scary to people that lost, used to know you? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. Oh, wait. Is this character trans? Possibly. It certainly sounded like it. Maybe. You said long haul. That's... Then who is the female driver I was told of? How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time with other Kemenyers sniffing around when I have my movies to go to? Well, I guess the only other thing is to answer that question. Uh, ask that question. Mm. The big ones. The tracks. There's no men and women here, it's all just... She hums along as if to a track on repeat. In the middle of this town there's a ghostly motorway. It takes all the people where they want to stay. In the background a quiet song seeps from her cabin in the air. You don't hear any vocals. Well, I guess that's all I needed to know. Oh, Sim, the woman stares at you. Her mind elsewhere now on other matters. Um... I mean... Hey. I mean, is there other questions no, you want to ask there? I mean, no, I'll ask the um, uh, This awful weather gives me away. You I don't. Uh, with your questions. Yeah, don't so, really understand. Yeah. Of course not. To truly understand the bird area, you need to listen to on the Western Plain. Oh, okay. What's that? It's an old ballad about a young girl who falls in love with a daring bodero. He promises to marry her as soon as he returns from the Western Plains. I'm guessing that doesn't happen. Hmm. Of course not, but the Bodero returns from the Western Plain a changed man. One night, as he and his beloved are out walking along the river Marguerite, she pleads with him to give up his riding and settle down. I think I see where this is going. So the Bodero strangles his beloved and throws her body at... No, that's not where this was going. Oh, perfect, there's an option. That's <laughs> not where I thought this was going. <laughs> yep. You have to understand, a true Boidero needs a whole horizon to himself. He can't be tied down by a man or woman. His beloved was selfish. She didn't know what it meant to love a Boidero. So you didn't have to fucking strangle her? Mm. What if to truly love a Boidero is to float lifeless downstream? <laughs> oh. uh, before I came, you seemed away. She's just a tad distracted old woman. We should maybe let her go back to her things. Mm. So he doesn't think she's the lady driver? You hear that, little man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Uh, wait, why is that, Lieutenant? Nothing. I just don't think she's connected to anything. He doesn't okay. want your frail mind caught up in something here. Something unconnected to the case, but connected this woman tuning out like that. Okay, change the subject. 
Okay, well, that's... Uh... Bye. Bye. Right, Major Head. You're my only option now. For the fit of the resistance? Yeah. Now that we've learned advanced race theory. Up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. One of the last things that we're doing here on day one of this, right? We oui. still need a bed. Yeah. I imagine I had. Yeah, that's not happening, right? Uh, I think I know what the race ring mirror is. Okay. And. Well, number one, straight off there. Uh, it's shit. Let me into the fucking harbour. Um, we actually need to think this through. Uh, where's the fort cabinet? Oh, God. That doesn't help. There's a lot of options and a lot of reading. Yeah. Paradoxically, you have to separate the equations from history. The... Oh wait, I need to see. Do see, a lot this. of these are just... You know what, it's whatever you want it to be. It's a free association language exercise to generate race hero. Yeah, look for that. 30 experience, new skill point. Look, babe, when confronted with the harsh truth of his demise, the melancholic academian starts fiddling his own genitalia. What? <laughs> his bald spot betrays that. He is a compulsive masturbator. <laughs> That's disgusting, Jean. Jean? The woman's young face crumples up in displeasure. It is. Read even the veneer of academic jargon. The liberal theorist is a beast, a sexual maniac, and a depraved nihilist. Life is a game to him. Words are meaningless. No one is accountable for anything. He turns to you, nihilistic sex maniac. I take pity on your urges. You clearly want to enter the harbour. Bad. Like a little boy who wants to go on the potty. I can press the button for you. It will open the door. That's all I wanted. Very well. You may enter the door once. He punches the emergency button with his fist. Our race conversation here has concluded. Finally. The lieutenant impatiently gestures towards the door. Let's go. Okay. Go to the door! Go to the door! Once. Aw, oh, can't go past that though. Can I still knock him out? Yeah, that's safe. Because, um, See, on another time do you want... He's going to let us through once. Yeah. So do you want to do it on the last... Bit of today, or do you want to wait till tomorrow? We've got no, we've got nowhere else to go. Okay, roads know where it is then. All right, down we go. Is this the door? Ah, that's the door. I thought it was the giant door down at the bottom. It's not. It's this door. Uh -huh. This allows us to go this way without the thing. Oh, before we carry on, by the way. We've got a choice to make on this, I think. Yes, yes, we do. We can either unlock a new cabinet, cabinet, or we can add a skill point. Hmm. Note on this one that the one thought that we do have, which is rigorous self-critique will give us minus one authority for six hours. No, that's not really worth it. So, now the other thing is, we can look at the skill points, uh, not skill points, the journal. Mm -hmm. Look at the ta um, map. And what could be easier for us to complete. Um... I mean, I say this, but if we have a look at yeah. A placement club. You you really want that cloak. Yeah. I'm tempted to actually just see what's in the rest of the room first and then Yeah, loot the room. Yeah, door is locked and cannot be opened from this side without a pass card. So if we can find a pass card then we can might be able to get through the door again. Hmm. This is a Dewey typewriter. The model name is on the back. Dewey Decimal. The radio is emitting strange buzzing sounds. 
Oh, that's annoying. Punch clock. An imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. <sighs> to do what? To phone who? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The machine swallows your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Well, done it now. Yep. Yeah, well, that's nope. going to happen. It's unclear whether you actually have muscle memory. Right now, your finger is just drawing vaguely occult patterns in the air. <laughs> uh, useful patterns? Undoubtedly, no. I'll try this again later. Sure, why not? Muscle memory is a tricky thing. Uh, nothing tricky about it. You just do, fail, repeat until it works. All it takes is motivation and practice. Yeah, thanks, physical instrument. Yep. Oh dear. Right. A standard file, uh, office file cabinet. The drawers seem to be locked. Okay. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the union just to leave their paperwork lying around like this. Open Let's the drawer. see what's in, he thinks. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized selection of brown folders. Browser. Hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming from Revachol from the outside world, from Mundi, Grad, and even Ilimara. Okay. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Curon, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. Anything interesting? Uh, it's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Come on, Volition. Don't fail me now. Oh. <sighs> Look how blurry all the lines on these papers are. How unwieldy your own willpower is to yourself. You're like an absurdist Samaran monk, focusing through not focusing. Hermeneutics was almost within your grasp, but now only vague letters float before your eyes. Less meaningful, but aesthetically more pleasing. <laughs> Can I, could I actually focus through not focusing? <laughs> you are a police officer, not a spiritual healer. You can focus the normal way by turning your attention to something and not letting go. If I let my eyes go completely out of focus, all the shapes start melting into each other. <laughs> Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? Yes. yes. Right. Lieutenant's uh, expression stiffens. This is probably not relevant to our case. After all, we are investigating an accounting mystery. Oh, we've got a better chance to do it now. Yep. Come on! Yay! Woo! Whatever's hidden there is hidden well. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of this. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. Look at that. It appears to be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo. Everett's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water Everett's plants. Sweep off his floor. More banners. All the items on the list are being crossed out and the note itself is crumbled. Hey look Kim, a to-do list with, with a note, um, with a list of errands for Everett. Ah, Everett Clare, probably. He's the head of the Debardeurs Union. He inspects the note. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. The special borscht seems a bit odd on the list. What is so special about this borscht? Goes for drugs? Booze? Blood? Electrochemistry. Electrochemistry. Can you please just go somewhere else? Let's have a look and another look at the note. Okay. Yeah. Special whirling Borsch. Oh, that's an auto save. But yeah. you know what? Maybe a real save. Because. Because I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. Someone left the coffee machine on. The dark liquid in the pot almost looks sentient. <laughs> oh. oh, got another postcard. Well, let's go into the pawn shop. What's in here? Drugs. 
Anthrox. Oh, yeah, magnesium. And in here, no Zephyr? No. I don't believe it. We that would have worked on visual calculus. Yeah, but that would have worked on visual calculus. At the cost of what, though? What is it? Drama. Eh. We got logic at the. Well, it's just more clothes. Yeah, well. Is there anything behind the desk? Uh, no. That was everything in there. Okay. So now we've got the steps. We're in a one way system at this point now, though. Yep. So, do hey, not look. Cloak! <gasps> don't do the check anymore. Rub the cloak. Rub the cloak. As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver a message of comfort through your fingertips. I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. That's what the cloak is relaying. <laughs> so, the cloak gives us. I think we're bonuses. Yeah, it gives us uh, a spirit of corpse, which will help with cop interactions and plus one shivers. Yep. Oh yeah, there we go. And 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 while we're while we're there, there. Ah yeah. Ugh. Ah, oh, shirtless cloak hobo cop. Yep. Nice and hairy. Yeah, let's put the shirt back on for now. We don't need unless we need actual any physical instrument. Okay, so there we go. We are now collecting rainwater. What's this? Over here? Oh, okay, other steps. Okay, so I, I thought we were just gonna. White pine tree, the printing onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. All around you, great machines in quiescence. Okay, probably a full bite. A full bite. Yeah, a composite eye of halogen lights watching you, emitting a low buzz. Okay. Right. There's more stars going down if you need to. Yeah. We'll but what's going on here? First, yeah. Oh, tar! Bottles! Give. I'm hearing like a guitar and a hum. All these bottles. All these bottles belong to you now. This is where you need the loot all button. Absolutely. <laughs> Probably made a couple of rail off this. We we're hobo cops, so we actually make more. Yeah. What's inside At least the three packs worth of cigarette butts. All these empty wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, really hard here. Oh, did I do this? Did I do this? Well, the lieutenant looks at you, then the bottles. Yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. Well, um, this is really sad. I must have been miserable. Hmm. Yes, the lieutenant agrees. This scene isn't exactly ripping with joy. Let's just move on. He turns to leave. Um, I feel he's doing this shack? for my benefit. Yeah, in the shack. What is it? Night Watchman's booth. This is the Night Watchman's booth. Well, thank you. He did say that already. The name on the door reads René Arnaud. Listen, okay. it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself, sit down and have a breather. So this is where René works. I'm going to look around. If you must, the lieutenant looks around. But please hurry, we're pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organised. There's a framed photograph on the table. Uh, let's take the picture. Photo of a happy couple. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man, René, is dressed in a royal car uh, carab carabiner uniform. The girl is young and very pretty. She is smiling playfully at the camera. René looks like he's about to smile. This photo must be tied to some good memories. Why did you take that picture of René? The lieutenant asks, glancing at the photo. Um, I'm going to ask him about it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, good rest. The chair is not as autaire as the rest of the booth. A thin grey pillow is attached to the seat, secured to the tiles by black ribbons. 
look for a little something something to help you out? Yeah, I can do. How much chemistry would. Hmm. Ooh. The drawers are sa empty, save for some old time sheets and receipts. One small box, however, does hold some cheap painkillers. They are slightly out of date. Um. Read right. the side effects, yeah? Up to you. Oh boy, where to start? Elevated risk of dementia, mini strokes, prophet's disease, sudden death, hair death, erectile malfunction, critical flatulence, watery blood, black mucus, uncontrollable weeping, increased sensitivity to lopra, inoperable joint disorder, total spinal collapse. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Just, do you want to get up? That would have just led. Oh, there's another staircase there, isn't there? No. Oh, right where you are. No, it doesn't let me go down him. Oh, okay. It's just a pointless staircase. Yeah. We're on a road to nowhere. Right, so now this staircase, though. Well, this staircase is usable. Yeah, it's just a little... What's this? It's a button. I like buttons. Yep. It's a crane control panel. A rusting control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Alamer and Itender are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attra att attached to its hook block. Alamer on, Entender off. Well, Alamer. it's off already, yeah. With a loud grind, the crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. Are we making ourselves a bridge? Yes, yes we are. Or have we just stopped us crossing? Oh. Uh. And with a surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. What's another oh, the container? Yeah. Who can say? All you know is, it's special. I can't see how that was worth the ruckus, he looks at the crate, except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Hmm. Well, we can now go up the stairs. Yep, and we've got this like little wooden thing. Yeah. Oh, oh. yay, 66 cents. I am rich now. Roll in there, boy. You see faded industrial lettering on the platform. Valsund. Valsund means whale fjord in Arden. Container, 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 container. Before you stands a cargo container, just one of many in the yard. Okay, I think then. Let's open the container. Yeah. The lieutenant size. Is this like your thing with that wall again? Maybe. You do? Because I don't. Why not? There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? It was hanging from the crane. Mm. You just picked one out because you wanted to interact with a cargo container. Oh my god, this game knows me. <laughs> We're not here to interact with containers. We're here to talk to the Union, right? Open the door. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. The door seemed to be mechanically locked. To your left, the, cons uh, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. No reply. <laughs> well, more dead ends. Yeah, well. Whoop. The shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. The great machines are sleeping. Yeah, well. We're a strike Money. Out. Yep, more rail. The speaker tower is silent. There's no war to organize in the yard below. So, yep, let's go on our exp. I see a bunch of rail. And another road. Industrial oh. sized thermos. Smells like burnt coffee. Speaking of burnt coffee, oh, more money. Ooh. 
Oh, there's a guy up there. Yeah. The banner sags under the weight of rain and snow. White waves on red. <laughs> yeah, what is this guy? Container, container, oh, Leo! Nice and red. Container, container, that was the guy from the office. Hmm. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as it goes along. The accent is so thick it's impossible not to notice it's Ubi. From the vanishing peninsula of Ubi Sund on Mundi. Container, container, Hi. used to be well pined. Container, mm -hmm. container, now belongs to Everett. The tiny man is so engaged in his work he doesn't even notice you. Everett, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, master? Oh my god, this guy is too happy. The look in his deeply wise is as sincere as you've ever seen. Kind of makes you feel like an arsehole for no apparent reason. I see you're not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Wow. The shadow passes over his kind face. No, I'm not a scab. So what is it with you people and scabs? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks are just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for your, you to answer. Just, some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Hmm. What's in that container over there? Ask the important questions. <clears throat> oh, that one! He looks at the container. Oh, that should be empty, as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Told you. <clears throat> should look him. Ilya, who wrote the note? Hmm. Yeah, straight in, direct questions. Oh yes, yes, he replies excitedly. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. That old head of mine isn't, ain't so good at keeping things in... No more. I almost forgot about the Bosch. What is the Bosch? Oh yes, I've been taking special whirling Bosch to the men every day since the strike started. The little guy chuckles merrily. It's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. He shakes his head with a wide smile. I feel like I could take on Mr. Rendon's poor do dogs every time the lunch is done. Power Borsch, huh? Never heard of a Borsch that turns little guys into dogfighter. Alcohol, however. <laughs> Electrochemistry. We need to stop. <laughs> what do you mean, taking a little suit to the men? Is it for striking? Well, yes. I'm taking it to them. The Borsch keeps them happy and in fighting spirits. Makes you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling in racks. Well, looks like the Borsch is spiked. I'm gonna look into it. <laughs> Straight in. Oh, sure, mister, sure. The little guy nods. You do that, yes, sir. Where is the leader of the Dock Workers Union? Oh, you want Mr. Everett then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived in their entire lives in this here neighbourhood. He coughs, then continues immediately. Guys like Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made Martinez what it is today. Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were just boys. Okay. Ah, easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can find this man. Oh, Mr. Ever is usually in his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers on your right. But you gotta be quick if you want to see him. He leaves around 22. Oh, okay. well, aren't we just here in time? Yeah. Okay, I'm off. Bye-bye now. He returns to his work. Right. What we're going to do, because we're recording this late and we're also in the middle of doing an extended recording session. You want to call this an early one for now and we do another one at some other point? Up to you. Okay, fair enough. I think we're, you know, making some more progress. I mean, we spoke to a dude. Do you want to go through the... I kind of want to go find out what's near the container a little bit. Well, this leads to the office. But, you know. Well, okay. It's an office out of containers. So we will leave it at this point. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So, uh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that business. And me and Dee shall see you next time. Just yeah. Container, container, make up random words. Container, mm. container, finish with a sentence that doesn't even rhyme with the same bit that you used before. That was a really complicated thing. Yeah, I know. Bye! Bye!